Today, I'm out of poppers, and I do poppers totally different from everyone else. I cut them differently, I wrap them differently, and I freeze them. So we just went out to the freezer because I wanted to shoot this video, and we don't have any poppers. So we're gonna jump right down into it and show you how we do it. Okay guys, here we go. We're gonna, we're gonna use some Philadelphia. You do not want the fat free. Get the full old fat stuff and keep it cold. So we're going back in the refrigerator with it for now. Okay. We use Oscar Mayer bacon. Well, let's do that. There you go. We use some Oscar Mayer bacon. My recommendation, um, buy thin bacon, but don't buy center cut bacon. It doesn't really matter which one you buy. We found that this is the most consistent in the quality of bacon. So it's a little bit more pricey, but that's what we go with. And it's really important to keep that bacon cold. It's got to stay cold the entire time. So you might make, and what you're going to see is a huge pile of um, jalapenos here. What you don't want to do is pull that bacon out, let it sit on the counter because it gets really difficult to work with. Peppers, we're going to use a ton of peppers and I don't go through and pick them. I just grab them with my big paws and fill up a bag about this big. And that's what we start with. So here we go. We're just going to jump right in. I'm going to glove up. And we're just going to get cranking. What? Spoon. Yep, we need a spoon. You use the bigger than little. I use the little one. Okay, guys, the first step is we're going to cut these. And we're just going to cut the ends off, all of them. And we're going to cut them down the middle of the vein. And we're gonna do that. Let me go ahead and pop this up so we get our trash in one area over here. And you don't have to watch me do all of this, so we're gonna speed the speed the camera up. You'll be right back. Okay, guys, that didn't take very long at all. Um, we're just chopping them up like that. We have a, a waste bowl over here, a trash bowl, and I'll just throw these over here in the corner little trash bowl and then we're going to take now it's wise if you don't want your wife upset you use one of these or go to the sink and sink but never turn that water on the minute you turn the water on you're inducing or introducing moisture in the air and your nose will start to run right off the front of your face now i use one of these drip easy um little buckets you see it come and go it'll go up and down as we go through this video but i just take the pepper and come on down and show me We just take the pepper and we core it out as simple as this, right? So I leave some of this membrane. This membrane is what is actually the hot part. The seeds themselves aren't, aren't hot. It's this membrane right here that is hot. And I'm just coring them out because I need some room uh, for our cream cheese. I'm gonna go through this real quick and we'll, uh, we'll pop you onto the end as we finish out. And all I'm doing, again, I'm just kind of coring out the center part throwing it over here in my spare bowl and we're done. And so I'll take these and we will transfer so you guys can see. We're just gonna transfer. Seeds aren't really hot. Now they do have a little membrane around them that keeps some heat and I'm not scared of it being in our, in our poppers. We're gonna go back down because now it's cream cheese time. And this is where stuff gets a little messy. Um, thank you. We're gonna throw them back in our bowl. Kind of did that backwards, but uh, that's okay. All right. You use this container so you don't throw seeds anywhere. And then you throw seeds everywhere, so it doesn't really matter. All right, I need uh, cream cheese. I'm just going to take this cream cheese out. You can let it sit on the counter a little long. I don't really like it to get too, uh, too warm. So I just coat it in. And it's this simple. We're just filling them. Right off the edge. This is the fastest way to do it. Just don't be shy with it. And just smush it in right off the top. It's okay if it's not perfect. All right, we're coming down to the wire. Little cream cheese left. Few jalapenos left. And that's why you just wanna buy three or four big old mitts worth of poppers. Because what you 
or jalapenos, what you're trying to do is make sure you don't waste any cream cheese. Why? Cream cheese is expensive. Jalapeno, cheap. Right, so problem is my wife needed three peppers. How many did you steal? Well, two full peppers. So four. four look, peppers. look, I could have, you're going to make me waste this cream cheese. Yeah. What, what do we need that for? Salsa. Oh, uh, well, we'll waste this for salsa all day long. <laughs> okay, we're done with the knife. It can go in the dishwasher. Here you go. Yeah. Thank you. All right, now here's what makes it special. Now this, again, all right. So I'm gonna cut the edge off and most will go, oh, well, there's some spice in that. Well, I get it, but this is what we're looking for. We're looking for that size right there. We're also looking for it to be square because when we wrap it, we're gonna hold in all that cheese goodness. Now, I'm just gonna go through and cut these real fast and they'll plate them up here. We'll come back while they're, uh, and show you how we wrap them up. We've got the cutting board cleaned off. We're running down the next phase of it. My Oscar Mayer bacon's coming out of the refrigerator one package at a time. We're gonna cut it in half and we're gonna work with two people here. So I'm actually gonna have one person laying and I'm gonna be wrapping and then bagging and we're gonna get through this uh, through these poppers pretty quick. There's probably about 150 here, uh, maybe 125, we'll see. Uh, but we're gonna go, go through this pretty quick. Let's come on down and show it. All right, we're just gonna cut through the bacon and that knife is sharp enough that I thought it would cut through that cutting board. Just kidding. <laughs> knife is really, really sharp. All right, you ready? You want some gloves? All right, good, that's what I wanted to hear. Gloves are stupid. <laughs> Nobody needs gloves. Why don't you hold on to some of these jalapenos? Okay. Can yes, we kind of got a, um, the good old process here and we just lay them down and go to town and wrap, right? Hopefully your arm's not taking up. This is okay, just let me wrap these and we'll show folks how we kind of assembly line this real fast. I use a good old skewer and you'll see me just pick it up, tuck and roll. And what you're getting is you're getting all of that cream cheese locked in there. So that's what holds all the cream cheese in. It's the best way to do these. And then it is a true popper. It's not a wrapped jalapeno with cream cheese. It is a true popper. This is what you're gonna come in and it is gonna be perfect and absolutely delicious. Now, again, we freeze ours and we actually cook them almost frozen and you'll see us do that. Uh, we're just making these for now and we'll, uh, we'll show you how that comes into play. Okay, we'll, uh, we'll show you as we finish these. In fact, um, can you hand me one of the bags? Can you hand me one of those bags? All right guys, as we make them, we leave them on the cutting board. And can you see this? Can you get into this? You tilt. All right, listen, we go straight into bags with them. So we come right off, we do rows of five, sometimes rows of six. It's all about the size of your jalapeno. And we're gonna try to get anywhere between 25 and 30 in this bag. That's what we found is the best combination that's easy to count. It's also um, easy to cook that many for just two. And believe it or not, you go 25 poppers. Well, trust me, 25 poppers goes a long, doesn't go a long way. Folks will gnaw those things down pretty darn quick. So we're just gonna go, we're gonna wrap these up shove them in this bag. You'll see us seal them off in just a second. At the end, we vacuum sealed them all up. So we've got about 150, uh, maybe short, maybe 140 right in there. I think there's three, uh, two bags that uh, are a little shy of 25 because the poppers or the peppers were so big. Anyway, that's pretty typical of our, um, of our session. That took us right at an hour with, uh, with videoing. Um, and of course, we're joking around, it's Friday afternoon. And so there we go, we've got 150. These are gonna go in the freezer. And tomorrow, when we throw our steaks on for appetizers, we'll show you how we're gonna cook them. So we'll see you just like that. Hey guys, welcome back. Wait, what am I doing? Hey, we went from wrapping those poppers to freezing them to the grill. Look, they're right in the package here. They were frozen, 
I brought them out. Now these are a little thawed out, a little bit more than I like, but it took a little bit longer to get the grill cleaned and up to speed and ready to go. But I'm gonna throw them on. I'm gonna show you exactly what I do. Here we go. Here we are at the grill. I just take them, cut them right open. Show that side. And I'm just gonna set them out. And then we'll just break them apart real fast. And because they were frozen, that bacon is going to stay wrapped up tight. Now, like I said, these are a little bit um, more thawed out than I'd prefer, but they'll still do just fine. We're not going to have any issues with them. That one's a little tight. And away you go. Now, can you just put them in the refrigerator overnight and uh, cook them the next day? Yep, you sure can. And they're going to end up just like these are right here where they're not quite, this one's almost frozen on the inside. It's fine. What we're trying to do is get the bacon and the jalapeno cooked all the way down. We want the bacon crispy and want the jalapeno all the way cooked and that cream cheese. Here we go, that's it. We're exactly 30 minutes in. Let's see what they look like. Dun, dun, dun. All right, let's get in here close guys. Ooh, those are looking good. Roll this stuff over. Oh yeah. We're also, we also typically cook about, I don't know, a hundred of these at a time. Um, Cause we have some folks over and they just get cooked. Now these are just for us for dessert or uh, dessert. <laughs> dessert before dinner, appetizers. And here we go. So. They probably have about 30 more minutes. We want this bacon to be really crispy. We want these jalapenos to soften up, but these are gonna be fantastic. These are true poppers. One hour mark, here we go. Look at those sound effects and all. Now we're right at the one hour mark. And those are perfect. Oh yeah. I'm gonna turn them over just a little bit more. I want them a little crunchier. I don't want them to burn, but I want them a little crunchier. But yeah, normally when we're cooking so many, we would start to pull the ones that are done off and start to serve those. But today we're gonna pull them all off at the same time. We're gonna get our corn on here pretty soon. You see, we already have our potatoes on. We're gonna go ahead and turn our potatoes. And these poppers are about to be done. Boom, let's get it. One hour and 15 minutes, guys. One hour and 15 minutes and these are perfect. Let's see if we can get you in there. Look at that. All right, we're gonna pull them off. We'll get a little taste test going. Popper. Really hot. <laughs> All right, guys, we're back. Taste test. Let's see it. Mm. Pretty tasty. Hot. <laughs> Heat hot. Is it spicy hot? A little spicy hot. Poppers are never that spicy. Not too bad. A little bit. Yeah. yeah well, that's part of the summer, right? Listen guys, poppers or jalapenos really aren't that spicy. They are to some, but most they're not. And especially after you core them like we did, they're never gonna be super, super spicy. But the later you get in the summer, sometimes those jalapenos get drier and they get hotter the drier they are. Anyhow, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoy making poppers like we do. They're absolutely fantastic. Let me grab one. Again, just to show you, these are bite-sized poppers, and that's the way they're supposed to be made, in my opinion.